lesson for today is about minerals. Now, what are minerals? Minerals are the building blocks of rocks. So, building blocks, rocks. So, here below we have example of rocks. So, it's just simply saying that rocks are made up of minerals. Ang rocks ay gawa sa minerals. So, minerals are naturally occurring in organic solid. So, they are naturally occurring and they are in organic solid. So, when we say naturally, they are not man-made. They can be found uh, in our environment, in nature. Okay? And they are in organic solid. So, when we say inorganic solid, usually those are uh, chemical compounds that are not found in living organisms. They have crystalline structure. Okay? So, crystalline structure usually yung, they take, uh, they take uh, their shape like uh, different forms of crystals. Okay? So, maybe you have seen some crystals. So, usually they take form in different shapes. And they have a chemical formula. Okay, so marami, they have plenty, plenty of minerals, they have plenty. So I'll give you an example, yung calcium carbonate, okay, CaCO3. So calcium carbonate, so calcium, carbon, and oxygen. So calcium carbonate. So usually calcium carbonate are uh, yun yung, you can see them in the mountains they are called colored white usually parang like like a chalk okay. usually they are used for cement making now let's go to the properties of minerals so the first property is color Okay. A mineral's color may change depending on the surface. So here, you have examples of minerals with different colors. As you can see, they have different colors. Merong yellow, may blue, merong red, okay. Okay, merong medyo dark, brown. Okay, they have different colors. Okay, so minerals can take uh, different forms of colors. The second is, is strict. So a streak is a color of mineral in powdered form. So color of mineral in powdered form. So usually you can uh, identify the streak of a rock by rubbing it in a Porcelain. For example, you have a porcelain. You have a porcelain plate. Porcelain plate. So usually a stone, if you have a rock, you have you rub it here. So nira rub mo yan. Okay. Usually, kung ano yung color, what color comes in here? After rubbing the rock in a strict plate, usually that is uh, the strict 
of that rack. Again, you can uh, identify the streak of the rack by rubbing it in a usually a porcelain plate. In whatever color comes, that is the streak. Next is hardness. Hardness is the mineral's resistance to scratching. Okay? So usually hardness uh, is identified using the most scale of hardness. So what is the most scale of hardness? So, yung most scale of hardness parang it's a guide for identifying the different uh, minerals with uh, their, their, their characteristic hardness. So, usually it is uh, from level 1 to 10. So, for example, Ever, uh, scale of 1 to 10. So from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So usually in number 10 is the diamond. So diamond is considered as the hardest mineral. Okay, followed by Corundum, then by Topaz, then Quartz, then Portoclase, then Apatite. Then fluoride, calcite, gypsum, and talc. So again, the hardest is diamond, and the softest is talc. Okay. So if you're familiar with talc, usually in talc, those are the minerals that is used in making powder. Yung baby powder, okay? The one that we use. And diamond is used for usually for jewelry. So color, streak, hardness, and cleavage. Now what is cleavage? Cleavage is the mineral's resistance to being broken and fractured. So here, you have a rock. So, yung cleavage, usually yung resistance niya to breaking. So usually, sometimes, uh, diba? Uh, sometimes a rock breaks. Pero, yung breaking of the rock, sometimes, uh, different position yun eh. Okay. So sometimes it breaks yun ang paganon. Minsan, uh, sometimes it breaks here. Sometimes here. Okay. Sometimes paganon. Okay. So, yung cleavage usually also refers to the position where the brack breaks. Okay. So, yun. Now, crystalline structure. So, yung crystalline structure refers to some minerals na take shapes or take form like uh, into a crystal usually. So, usually ganun din. Crystals can take shapes in different forms. Okay. So, here is an example of a uh, mineral with crystalline structure.
So another property of mineral is diapanity or the amount of transparency or the ability to allow light to pass through. So diapanity is yung ability to light to pass through. Or it's just saying na, for example, if you have uh, light that pass through here. Okay. So, yun lang yung ability of light to pass through. Makakapass ba siya dito? Sa loob? Or not? Okay? It depends. It depends on the minerals. Maybe or maybe not. It depends on the mineral. If the light can pass through. So, yun yung diapanity. If the light can pass through the minerals. Now, the next property is luster. Okay? So, luster. Luster refers to how light is reflected off a surface. So, luster. For example, you have a rock here. So, if you have a light. May light ka. Okay. Okay. Ability to reflect. So, can it reflect or not? It depends. Okay? So, kaya nga, uh, different types of minerals have different types, uh, different forms of luster. Okay? Next is tenacity. Okay? Tenacity describes the mineral's reaction to stress. Okay? Now, there are different forms of tenacity. Okay. So, first is yung what we call brittleness or the mineral turns into powder. Next is malleability. A mineral can be flattened by, a pound, by pounding with a hammer. Next is ductility. It is when a mineral can be stretched into a wire. Then, flexible and elastic. Minerals are bent, but they remain in the new position. Okay. So, when minerals are bent, they remain in their new position. Hindi na siya babalik. Flexible and elastic. Minerals are bent, but they bring back to their original position. Okay. Last, it's sectility. Sectility is the ability of minerals to be sliced by a knife. So these are the forms of tenacity. Brittleness, malleability, ductility, flexible and elastic, flexible and, uh, flexible and, I'm sorry, man, this one is wrong. Flexible but inelastic pala ito. So, okay. Correction, correction. So, flexible but inelastic. Minerals are bent but they remain in the new position. Flexible and elastic. Minerals are bent but they bring back to their original position. Okay. And sectility. Ability of minerals to be sliced by a knife. So, this, those are the forms of tenacity. Okay. So, let's review. Minerals. What are minerals? Minerals are the building blocks of rocks. They are naturally occurring in organic solid. They have crystalline structure. 
we have a chemical formula. And what are the properties of minerals? Color, strength, hardness, cleavage, crystalline structure, diapanity, luster, and tenacity. Thank you for watching this lesson.